What's up guys, back in another video, and today we have the NHL 2022 Stanley Cup Bracket Challenge. So let's start off on the West Coast here. We got Colorado and Nashville. So this might be closer than people think. Nashville, they've had some good runs this year. They've been, I remember when they were, you know, top of the league for like, for a bit, and they were just dominating people. Duchesne has, you know, a shit ton of goals and points. He's having a stellar season. So it might be closer than people think. I still give it to Colorado though. They're, they're just too good to lose. Like they cannot be the next Toronto Maple Leafs of the league. They need to start winning. And I think that's what they're going to do. Minnesota St. Louis guaranteed game seven. Um, I think like it's because I'm a fan of St. Louis. I'm trying not to be biased, but I think St. Louis has more, more of a playoff team than Minnesota, but I still really like Minnesota, but I'm going to go with St. Louis just because they have that experience. The only question mark for St. Louis is their goaltending. They have Billy Huso playing in nets today. Uh, so that might be a little, you know, it's, he doesn't have much experience, right? So it's kind of scary for them, but if he can play like he has been in the regular season, you know, that's fine. And in case he does play bad, you got Bennington who he's played good in the playoffs. So you never know, but I think this goes to St. Louis. Next up here, Calgary and Dallas. I'm not a fan of Dallas. Uh, I'm going to give this one to Calgary easy. Um, I think it goes like five to six games. Calgary is just too good this year. Goudreau, Kachuk, and like they're not even playing guys like Monaghan who's just had a shit season. But Calgary's insane. They got to fully even like stellar for them. Insane. Uh, and I think Calgary does go far. Edmonton, LA. I'm sorry for you Oilers fans, but I think this one goes to LA. And hear me out. Edmonton does have McDavid and Drysaddle, but LA, I feel like they're more, they have more depth. Uh, they have Phil Deneau, who obviously not the first line center, but a second line center, who shut down Matthews last year, shut down Shifley and his line, shut down, you know, Stone, Pacioretty, all those guys on Vegas and, you know, didn't do it in Tampa, but I think he could do it again. Obviously, McDavid and Drysdale probably won't play together uh, to spread, you know, the goals around. Um, so I think LA can definitely take this. But it's going to be close. So Colorado, I, mean, I think it's going to be six games. Uh, Minnesota, I said seven. Here, I think it's going to be a good six. And here, I'll say five for Calgary. Next up in the East, Florida, Washington. You guys would know Florida guaranteed, guaranteed are going to win this series. I'm putting all my money here. Florida is going to win the first round, guaranteed. Next up, Toronto, Tampa. Okay, this one. I'm not a Toronto fan, I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan, but I think Toronto does it this year. I feel like they're playing the best team they've ever played in the first round in the past five years. So I feel like it's just gonna be something different for them. Matthews hit 60 goals, he's unstoppable right now. Uh, and I feel like the only question mark for, uh, for Toronto is goaltending once again like St. Louis. It's the best team they've ever played in the first round in the past five years or so. I feel like they're gonna bring their A game, not underestimate their opponent. I feel like they might actually get a job done. I think Tampa still has a very good chance of winning. I think they should win. Um, but I, you know, I can't count out Austin Matthews and his 60 goals. So I'm going with Toronto. Carolina, Boston here. I've said it for the past three years. I, I don't know how Boston is still making the playoffs. I'm going Carolina. More depth, just better in general. If they can stop Marshall, they have nothing to worry about. Uh, so yeah, Carolina, easy pick there. And New York and Pittsburgh. This one is very close. New York has better depth, have a better team. Uh, the only thing is for New York is they count on their, you know, their young guys a lot. You got Lafreniere, you got Capocacco, you got Shostorkin, Adam Fox. Like those guys have never played in the playoffs, no experience there. So it's a much different game. Pittsburgh, on the other hand, have a lot of experience. Have Sidney Crosby, Malkin, Latang, Jerry's playing good. Jeff Carter as well, who just won, well, he won two cups uh, with LA. So. I think Pittsburgh gets it done here. Um, I just think New York doesn't have much experience, but they could still easily win this round. So here, Florida against Washington, I'm going five games. Carolina against Boston, I think I'm gonna go, no, I'm not gonna go four, I'll go six. Tampa against Toronto, it has to be game seven there. And New York against Pittsburgh, I'll also go game seven. All right, now we're down to the final eight. We got Colorado against St. Louis. You guys are not gonna like me for this one. I'm going St. Louis. St. Louis, just for me, I feel like they're playing really well at the moment. They have Jordan Kyrou playing very well. Robert Thomas almost a point per game. Tori Krug back there. You have Vili Husso playing really good. And offensively, you're just stacked. I watched a few games of them, and they just obliterate their opponents. Um, Colorado is a fantastic team, but I don't know, man. It's Colorado is very, like, it, they're, they're skeptical for me. I don't, I don't have much faith in them. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go with St. Louis, but this could easily be Colorado. Next up, Calgary and LA. This one is no doubt gonna be Calgary. I think Calgary even sweeps them maybe. Um, and there's there's just not much to say about LA. LA uh, just not enough, not good enough to beat Calgary just yet. So coming down to the East, Florida against Toronto. No doubt for me, it's going to be Florida. Um, the only thing is for me is that when people like you know beat their you know their worst nightmare so like let's say washington when they beat pittsburgh in the second round they kind of go on the cinderella run and they just end up doing really well and they have like this they unleash the beast essentially and i feel like this could be very like this could be the case for toronto but they're playing florida the best team in the league i just don't think they do it when it comes to carolina and pittsburgh this one's close um this one's very close i'm gonna go with carolina be I just think they're a better team. You have Tony D'Angelo just stepping up this year. You have Freddie Anderson who's insane. And you even have Antti Ranto who's playing very well. Cal uh, Caroline just a very good team. Very, like they have so much depth. More than Pittsburgh. Even though Pittsburgh have Malik and Crosby, Latang. Aside from that, they have, you know, a good second line, decent third line. But nothing else after that. While Carolina has like, yes, Perry, cock and the absolute goat. So how can you not go with Carolina there? All right, so St. Louis and Calgary. I think it's going to be St. Louis, and hear me out. St. Louis is going to play Minnesota, Colorado, who are the top two teams in their division, while Calgary is going to play Dallas and LA. I think they're going to have a lot of momentum. They're going to bring that in in Calgary and just beat them in five or six, I think. And yeah, that's, that's my opinion. It could obviously change, but I'm a little bit biased here, but I'm going with St. Louis. When it comes to Florida and Carolina, not even a question. I said Florida was going to win the cup or at least make the finals. They're going to go to the finals, baby. Claude Giroux going to finally have a chance to win a cup. I just think Florida, like they picked up Claude Giroux, Ben Sherratt. You have Bob and Nets. Like, I think it's going to be a fantastic run here for Florida. If they beat Carolina, and I think they will, just because, they, like I said, they brought in Giroux, Sherratt. You have Bob and Nets. You have Huberto and Barca playing nuts. Ekblad should be back. That's a big question mark, but he should be back uh, by then, especially. Um, I just think Carolina does not have what it takes to beat Florida and the Heat. All right, finals. That Stanley Cup final of 2022. We got St. Louis and we got Florida. So St. Louis and Florida. <sighs> as much as I hate to say it, I think Florida is going to win the cup. I've said it for a while now. I've said it before they even made their trades. I think they're too good not to win. I always say this every year. The President's Trophy winner in any sport, the best team in any sport when it comes to the regular season, does not win uh, you know their respective trophy. And especially in the NHL, that is the case. This year, though, Florida just has my number. They, ha they have my heart, okay? They're going to win the cup. I'm telling you right now, if they lose, it's an absolute choke job if it's not against Car uh, Carolina. That's the only case they, like, they won't be considered a choker. Aside from that, they need to win the cup. They need to make it to the finals and have a chance to put their name on the Stanley Cup. So I'm going to guess uh, Florida is going to be St. Louis. Total goals here, I'm, I'm going to guess it we'll goes to six or seven games. Five goals apiece usually. So six times five is 30 plus another like eight goals. Let's say 38 goals happening in the finals. And that is my bracket. I'll leave the link to the description down below. So make sure you guys do this before the game start tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. And let's have fun watching hockey, baby.